My beautiful best friends. Today I have a special guest. What's your name? <laughs> so I am Danny from PAQ, PAQ.official Instagram. Danny Lomas is my personal one. I am here to style Mel in one of my favorite shops in LA. So it's most suited to my style, and we thought it'd be sort of a bit different if I got Mel to dress in my style, traditional English. Oh, yeah, but yeah <laughs> okay. here we are. Yeah, I'm excited. We have very different styles, but he's gonna dress me, and I'm gonna see how I like it. And if I like it, I'm gonna buy the outfit. Isn't and that Mel, right? <laughs> Mel has no say in this as well. This is all my choice. Yes, so. it's all him. Like, he is in complete control. He chooses my outfit. I put it on. See if I like it. And also, make sure to check out the video we did on Kyra TV on PAQ. And we went thrift shopping with some other influencers. And it was like a challenge of who could buy, like, the best. It was almost like a couple outfit. Like, we were trying to match in some way or whatever. But anyways, check it out down below. It was a lot of fun. And see if we won or if we lost. Without further ado, let's get started. Start off for a pre polo. Iconic, classic, black and yellow, that's a staple. Everyone must own a black and yellow Fred Perry. The black and champagne is ideal, but black and yellow is the next best thing. I'll try and pull you like a few outfits and then we can see okay. what you think. For sure. While you do that, I'm a shot for myself. <laughs> Sweet. I'm gonna get these. They are cool. It's gonna be my LA souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> An essential. You usually wear black, don't you? Uh, yes, black is my favorite color. Fred Perry is a classic British brand. I am obsessed. Uh, Mel will be eventually. I didn't it's... know about it until today. <laughs> didn't know about it until today. If you come to England, you'll see people in Fred Perry shirts from like geezers in pubs to like style icons and stuff like that. It is unavoidable. So I myself, I'm a big collector. I have tons of Fred stuff. Pretty much three quarters of my wardrobe is Fred Perry. And I feel like you can get any style. Fred will do something in it. But it's mainly like mod influence, like skinheads, stuff like that. Traditional like British subcultures. So it's really like it's cool for my style but i think that'll look really good in it definitely you think you're supposed to walk around with them like this like but that's like so restricting it's a style get with it i know i know i need to get with it murder on the beat how's your outfit going danny <laughs> struggling i ain't gonna lie Ooh. That is nice. Eight or a six, preferably please. This is six. Sweet. Thank you very much. I'll keep mm -hmm. keep looking. So with these, this one is the white ice and maroon. So originally Fred Perry never used to do the twin tipping until he were one of the buyers for Lily Whites ran into a group of football supporters who supported West Ham United and these are their colours. So then these were the first colour to be produced. It was the first ever twin tip, fun fact for you. And the dress is just cool as well. Get Mel to try that on. Oh man, these are sick. Mel, just sling this on a second. What size is it? It's kids. <laughs> Perfect. Spot on. <laughs> so We're done. <laughs> kids age eight. Oh, I like the orange. Orange is on my feet. So with the flight jackets, they're orange on the inside because they were for pilots. And if your aircraft down and you were stuck like on a mountain or something, turn it inside out, it's easy to get spotted. I am. Usually I go blue gingham, but it's a wet with what we've got. You could literally take two different photos, one side with this, one side with this. It, oh, wouldn't, it would no be two different know. outfits. I don't know if we're gonna be. What size shoe are you? Seven. 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 A US seven. Did they leave? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy shopping. Oh,
So I've tried to stay quite traditional. We have a mod outfit, we have like the, the Fred Perry polo, the dress, thrown on a parka over the top, one outfit sorted. So we have the skin head, we have like the gingham shirt, the braces, took a bomber over the top, that one's sorted. And then it was two kind of contemporary kind of styles. So for me, I like the Bella Fraud stuff. The Bella Fraud stuff is like, uh, just a really light plain jumper, bit of print on the front, and then throw like a, an Amy Winehouse Harrington over that. So that'll look pretty sick. That's one of my personal favorites. And then finally, I saw Mel had around the track jacket. So get her in the track jacket, see what she thinks. Cause I'm a big sucker for track jackets. I have about 15 of them. So all in different colors, you'll buy one, you'll get addicted and you'll end up with so many because you can wear them all the time. So get one to match every outfit, why not? Let's so hoping everything fits. <laughs> what do you think? Wait, where's the mirror? Here. Oh. <laughs> all the way to the top? All the way to the top. So, we have a little, a little tennis dress going on. Yeah. I feel like I'm about to go play tennis. <laughs> it's, uh, the jacket's like, like no bad. The dress, I'm gonna be honest, I would never wear this. <laughs> Wouldn't ya? Oh, I think it looks good. It's just, it's, it's like, not you. No. Like, I literally feel like I'm just gonna go play tennis. I mean, well, me good doctor. effort. Good. So, Overall, I wouldn't wear this, but. It suits you. It looks good. Thank you. It's thank a different you. look. I mean, it? it's not my style, but I don't think it's like that, you know? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't wear it, but. Sweet. Now, bang on the next one. Oh. There your braces. Wear your jeans with it as well. First one down. I don't think Mel was as much of a fan as I thought, but nah, I think she looks cute. Like, I bet half of you guys think that she looked really good in that. Like, it was flattering, and I was worried about the size, but the size was all right. Like, the parkas are meant to be oversized. When, traditionally, when mods are on the scooters, they used to wear suits. So, the parkas started off as you get them from, like, old military shops. So, you get a massive parka as big as you could. goes down, and it basically protects your suit from, like, mud and oil. It's really fascinating. It's all, like, method in it. It's really, like, it's a sick thing to get into. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. So, with the skinhead look that Mel's about to come out in, personally, I don't wear too much skinhead stuff myself but it can look really good on girls usually clue is in the name you'd have a skinhead you'd shave all your hair off fortunately for Mel I'm not gonna make her do that but if you want to go the full part if she wants to get into it Doc Martin boots and then yeah you'd have like your blue Levi's on you'd have a, a gingham shirt throw a bomber over the top pair of braces good to go how are you feeling that not like myself <laughs> <laughs> do you know perfect no, skinhead style yes it's great yeah Danny knows what's up <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You see me wearing this ever? Yeah? My jeans. The jeans do go without the zips. It's always like light blue Levi's. All That's right, good. next, next one, next, next one. I'll oh, screw that, two out of two. Everything fits, everything looks really good as well. Just don't think, don't think Mel's into it. <laughs> So the next two outfits are a lot more relaxed. Like this is kind of the stuff that I'd wear. You don't really get too many diehard skinheads, which is the, like the uh, style that we just saw. And you don't really get too many diehard mods anymore. So you will still get girls in like the uh, the Fred Polos, throw a Parker over the top, but not so much anymore. But yeah, the next two are going to be a lot more, a lot more chilled out and something you could wear every day. How are you feeling that? Not let's, like myself. Let's, let's, that's really nice. I love that shirt. Oh, I don't know why. I might be a little bit biased, but. <laughs> Oh, it's a. I don't think I've ever worn like a sweater. What is this? A polo like a knit. type of. It almost looks like a polo though. Yeah, it's knitted polo. Uh, I feel like very preppy. I feel like that's a bad It's really way. cool. You'd fit right in at like the hundred club in London. <laughs> and then the track jacket. Zip it all the way to the top. All right. Always. All the way. What do you think? I would wear yeah. the track jacket. Yeah, I wouldn't wear this. That's what I think. That no. looks so good. Yeah. I do not feel like myself in oh, this. Oh man, I will convert you. I really you. want to style you now. Oh, oh it would be good. Next time. So Mel doesn't really like anything for herself. If she was just like a model almost, so it wasn't, she didn't have to wear it out and go do her normal stuff. If I just had like all this Fred stuff, yeah, it definitely suits Mel. I'd chuck it all on Mel and be like, yeah, this is a campaign. So me personally, I'm not just dressing her in it as like fancy dress. This is actually how people do dress. It does feel like fancy dress a little bit because I've literally gone that, 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 that. But no, I'm, this is proper skinhead, proper mod, and then like a more contemporary thing. So I love that cable on Mel. I thought that was really cool. Personal taste, isn't it? The last outfit is something more similar to what I'd wear. So it's just like a jumper. I always, pretty sure the jumper that I always wear is in here. There we go. What does it say? Lover? Lovers. Because oh, you saw basically my favorite Bella Freud piece was the English boy. It just literally said English boy in similar writing. So this is the I was gonna get. It's the old Bella Freud and it's lovers. I like the inside. Paired it with the Harrington. Yeah, the Harrington's sick. So that's the Amy Winehouse Harrington as well. Oh, dude. You need it. 
No, I mean, you know what? I like the jacket. It's not bad. I don't know how I feel about the heart. No, I like the jacket, but I just don't wear sweaters. And it's long sleeve. I'm excited to see what my fans Yes. Comment down below what you guys think about the outfits. Your favorite one was, if you have one. And do you think I can pull it off? <laughs> so if there's anything that you did like in there, I'll treat you to it. Oh, you're so nice. Stop. So yeah, choose one item, whether it be the coat. Do you like the coat? I like the track jacket a lot. The track jacket? Yeah. Do you want that? Sweet. Deal. So nice. Thank you. Oh. You're too small. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. So I'm going to go change and catch my flight to home. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to go check out all of his socials, the Kyra and PAQ channel. Go check it out with the video I'm in. So this has been Danny from PAQ. I have styled Mel in some of my favorite outfits, the fast stuff that I usually wear. Mel doesn't think it's been too successful, but for me, I thought it looked really good. So comment below what you thought, all that stuff, if you'd wear any of this, if it's kind of maybe made you think about anything like this. And yeah, thank you for watching. Go check out Kyra TV. We are PAQ, and then Mel has been partnered with me on a thrift challenge hey. over on our channel. Go check that out. Links in description, all that good stuff. See you later. Bye, guys. In this episode, we're switching it up. We're each teaming up with a female fashion YouTuber. We have to get looks that complement each other. This is hard. Now then. Now then. <laughs> now then. <laughs> <laughs>